as we've been reminding you all week, Sunday marks the 200th birthday of Maine. You don't have to buy gifts, though. March 15th was the day in 1820 when we officially became the 23rd state. But despite the years it took to make that happened, there was more work to be done, including one very important and controversial task. Here's New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan. In 1820, the U.S. Congress had finally settled the statehood issue, and now Maine needed a capital of its own. At first, it was Portland, in a fairly small building near the current site of Portland City Hall. Well, the largest city in Maine at that time, six, eight thousand people. Portland, a seacoast and a major port, would be the first capital, but they also knew it couldn't stay the capital. But historians Herb Adams and Earl Shuttleworth say most outside of Portland thought the new government needed a more central location. And Shuttleworth says some even worried Portland could be attacked from the sea because it had happened before. We had just gotten over the War of 1812, so it was felt, you know, not a good idea to have your state capital, you know, quite so vulnerable. So in 1822, a special committee started the search for a new capital city, and plenty of towns wanted it. And they said that they had visited Hollowell and Belfast and Augusta uh, and Wiscasset and Portland. In 1820, Augusta might have seemed like an odd choice for the new state capital, but it already had a population over 2,000. It too was located right on a major river. And at that time in Maine history, it was pretty much in the middle of where the people lived. The best offer was Augusta. Uh, Augusta said, we will give you Westerns Hill, which is a sort of a little rise uh, on the southern end of Augusta, where the State House is now. We'll also provide you with the beautiful land from Westerns Hill down to the river so that that can be a, 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 a state park. He says Augusta was even willing to help pay for the building, but it still took five more years for the legislature to agree on the deal. It is said that old William King, with uh, survey stakes and ropes and a surveying uh, team, personally paced out the first uh, footprint of the Capitol building of Maine. The new building, made of local granite, rose on the hill. And in 1832, the capital of Maine moved from Portland to Augusta. Evans. No, no, no. Uh, Portland was not at all happy to have the Big Apple taken away from them. Uh, as it was, uh, Portland made many attempts to get it back. And literally, from every legislative session from then until 1907, there was a bill in to return the capital to Portland. After the Great Fire of 1866, they said, we will build a capital uh, here in the ruins of our city that uh, would be perfect for your use and you should come back. Finally, after 80 years of those arguments, Maine voters passed an amendment to the Constitution to declare Augusta the permanent capital. 200 years after statehood began, Maine is bigger, the state house larger, Augusta no longer really in the center, but still the center of decisions that will shape Maine's next century. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Sunday was supposed to be the big celebration of Statehood Day, but that's been postponed because of concerns over large crowds and coronavirus. The festivities will be rescheduled. You can watch all of our bicentennial stories by going to Maine 200 on our digital pages. That's